Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn what are widgets in Sitefinity and how to create a custom widget. I strongly recommend to watch previous videos of this tutorial by clicking on the I button before proceeding. So widgets are nothing but components responsible to render data or content on a page. Let's under the, understand this better with this diagram. So you can see uh, this is the uh, layout architecture of the Sitefinity. So you can see uh, this is the user where it requests a page and uh, the Sitefinity returns an HTML page. So if we talk about the end user part, so that is all uh, for the end user. <clears throat> Let's go to this page uh, thing. So you can see that this is a page and these are widgets. So you can see widgets are components. Widgets are uh, there onto the page to bring content or to bring uh, load uh, API data onto the page. And uh, you can see that page is inherited from the uh, widgets and layouts from the page template. So page template can have uh, these placeholders and some of the uh, design widgets and some of the uh, uh, blueprint of that page. So you can see that this is the page template. This part is the page and in the widget itself, it can uh, pull data from like content modules or any of the external APIs, web services, third party D, uh, DBs. So you can see this is the site Finity DB and these are the third party APIs or any of the DBs. So they can pull data from uh, here and uh, with the help of widget, you can render and you can display data onto that page. So widgets are like uh, components. If you, if, if you are familiar with uh, any of the uh, frameworks like uh, React or uh, Angular or Vue.js, so you are very well known with the components. What are components? So let's uh, uh, move further and uh, let us create one widget and uh, I'm going to create a custom widget. I'm going to show you what are uh, how to create a custom widget in Sitefinity and how to use them, how to uh, integrate it with uh, Sitefinity and how to show it on the backend of the Sitefinity. Let's open the Visual Studio and before creating this widget, uh, we are going to install one extension that is VIX which is uh, provided for Sitefinity and uh, with the help of that VIX extension, uh, it is easy to create components in the Visual Studio. So let's uh, quickly see that. You can click on Manage Extensions. You can go to the online and uh, search for VSIX. It is a CLI tool which uh, helps you uh, building components in uh, for Sitefinity in Visual Studio. So you can see Sitefinity VSIX is already installed for me. So you can install it from here and uh, it may require a restart for the Visual Studio to show it, to reflect it on your Visual Studio. So let's close it and uh, let's go and see how VSIX uh, allow us and help us to create components in Sitefinity project. Let's uh, click on uh, right click on and uh, click on add. On the add button, you can see uh, on the bottom as Sitefinity option. So in the Sitefinity, you can see different options of the VSX which uh, it provides. Like you can create a widget, a grid widget, page template from here with just of a click. So let's click on a widget because we are going to create a custom widget. So you can see uh, that it is asking for a name and uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to create this custom widget and I'm going to consume an API and that API data I'm going to render it onto the page. So I have a small and uh, this uh, sample API which is API dot SpaceX data. So this is a API running and I'm going to fetch the data of this API onto that uh, widget and I'm going to render that uh, data onto the page in the end. So I'm going to uh, uh, give it a name as SpaceX data. So once you click on OK, the VSI VSIX uh, trigger the uh, CLI for the Sitefinity and uh, it will trigger that and will create model view and controllers in the Sitefinity folders. Let's click. Okay. 
so you can see it is triggering and CLI and it is asking for the reload all let's click on reload all so now you can click on MVC folder and in the controllers you can see that it has created the controller model and views automatically so now you can write uh, your code to consume that API I am going to use and uh, you can write your data here let's click on controller so you can see in the controller file uh, I have uh, some of the uh, attributes here like uh, name of this title and section so section provides you like uh, where in in what section uh, of the uh, page uh, where you can find this uh, widget inside that section I will show you later let's copy the code which I have already written it let's copy that code I have already written the code I'm going to simply replace it to create this video shorter uh, I have already write, write, uh, write this code so I'm going to simply paste it I'm going to create a folder here view model and inside this I'm going to create a class file launch view model let's copy the code I'm going I, I have created some of the properties here so whatever the uh, properties and whatever the fields you would like to have in your API to render it onto the custom widget you can uh, use that here this is part of the CSHTML file let's simply paste it and in the model itself uh, you can write the data to call that API so you can see that this API we are calling here and uh, I'm not going to cover much of the code part here because this is simple uh, .NET and MVC stuff so I'm going to only show you what are custom widgets and how to create them so you can see that I have created the properties as well I have uh, passed that view model to the CSHTML view and I'm going to now build this project let me build this so guys I have built this project and uh, successfully run the project so I'm going to place that uh, custom widget onto a page now let's edit this page and let's see how we can drag and drop that widget so you can see as I told you that in the new category of the custom you can find that uh, widget which is newly created so let me show you let's go to the visual studio and in the controller itself you can see that title and section name so section name is custom and uh, title is SpaceX data so you can see our SpaceX uh, widget is there under the category custom if you want to change the category you can change the section name here and if you want to change the title of the widget you can do that from the title so now drag and drop that widget here onto the page itself and see what the result comes so you can see it is loading some data let me save that save it as draft and let me preview this page if I preview this page I can see that there is data is SpaceX API and there is some description how is it coming if we go to the uh, 
if you go to our view you can see we have uh, rendered uh, the model dot project name and model dot description so with the help of project name and description it is fetching the data and rendering it here let's go to the api and check whether our data is collect or not so you can see project name is spacex api and description is this so which is correct so you can you can make your changes as per your requirement so that is all for the custom widget in the next video we will see how to create a grid widget stay tuned for next video thank you for watching this video